David, hey, how on earth do you become a man after God's own heart? For me, Eve, why did you eat the food and things like that? But for me, I want to ask them that, both of them, what it felt like to no longer have the presence, like the physical presence of God. Daniel Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Ah, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? <laughs> when you are before fire. And there was no escape route. Especially those three, the three boys. Maybe as they were to be like, oh boy, this thing will be the that short. <laughs> Hi everybody. Welcome again to my channel. The Lord has so many things in store for you. So today's video, we're going to be talking about an interesting topic. So what now happened? Let's get right into it. <clears throat> everybody welcome to my channel it's been a while i know thank you all so much for sticking um by the channel and by us um you know stopping by watching old videos and i'm sure refreshing and just waiting for us to upload a new video thank you so much we really appreciate you um being there um if you're new here my name is ayobami abraham and i have my wonderful husband here with me david abraham okay great so um the last time we uploaded a video it was the abc challenge and after we were done with that video we were like oh my goodness how could we have forgotten this and it was just so wholesome to check the comments and see that um you know a lot of people engaged and just gave us like a b to z i'm prepared <laughs> <laughs> so it was really amazing thank you all so much so today we're going to be talking about bible characters that um, we would like to meet like when we get to heaven who are the first two um or three characters that you would like to meet and why so you go first <clears throat> uh, well the best of all character which all of us know about is jesus yes i, do. <laughs> <laughs> I would but, like to meet him one-on-one -on -one, just behold his beautiful face to have paid the ultimate price for our freedom, yeah. our redemption. I would love to meet him. Mm -hmm. And do you know the question I would like to ask Jesus? What were you thinking at the Garden of Gethsemane when you prayed three times that if possible, the cup should pass to you? I was like, but it's like, it, I tend to remember that it was fully in the flesh. Mm -hmm. So what were you thinking that time? That is my most important question I would love to ask you. Like, if things have changed today, I will not be in heaven. But I'm grateful that you paid the price. That's the most important question I'm going to ask you. Yeah, I think that like uh, we, what happened in Gethsemane, Gethsemane it, it just goes to show us that at the end of the day, like sometimes you're going through stuff and it looks like, oh, do I, you know, do I, do I continue? But nevertheless, that will be done. So seeing Jesus in such a, you know, in such a vulnerable state is yes. encouraging for us that we don't have to form like we're Superman. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's okay when that those feelings come, but ultimately you still yield to God. But I think to that God's that's, will. Exactly. that's a good question <laughs> that you have to ask. So, um, your turn now. Um, well, for me, I would like to talk to Adam and Eve. <laughs> I know a lot of people will say, oh yeah, this uh, mommy Eve, why did you eat the food and things like that? But for me, I want to ask them that, both of them, what it felt like to no longer have the presence, like the physical presence of God. You remember in Genesis, the Bible says that, you know, Jesus, sorry, God will come, you know, cool chat the with day. them in the cool of the day. Like there was that physical presence of interacting with the almighty God. And then by the time they disobeyed, that's, they lost that. So beyond the curse or the curses placed on them, I wonder what it would have felt like to no longer have that fellowship, that physical um fellowship right wow, that was with, <laughs> with god not a lot of people talk about that but just imagine that you're you you're so privileged to have that one-on-one -on -one relationship physical relationship that like you could see god and then all of a sudden by reason of disobedience they lost that 
And if, if they still had that relationship with God, it would have been more spiritual, <laughs> sort of. Uh, but yes, that would be those. I would love to meet both of them. I just, I imagine, I imagine. How about you? That would be right. The second person I have in mind that when I get to heaven, I'm going to meet, I love to meet, is Abraham. Of course. <laughs> and uh, you know, the Bible talks about him being the father of faith. That means it was the situation. Uh, a generation of the group of people that have, have no the faith fitness. in God. Yeah, of faithless people. And yet, in the midst of this situation, he was able to develop a faith to the point that God loved him. Now, the question I would like to ask you is this Daddy Abraham, <clears throat> the day God told you, go and kill Isaac. And I read from the scripture, you did not argue with him, number one. Now, even consider the permission from your wife, who is also part of the journey, carried the baby for nine good months at the age of hopelessness. And waited, right? Yeah. And waited for that baby. So two of you waited. So it's not only you. Because whenever we read, we just saw that it's just only Abraham is in the picture. Sarah was in the picture. How come you are able to gather your servants early in the morning, she will, I think she will maybe still be sleeping at that time. And you get away with Isaac and the servant three days journey on the mountain with the Lord promised that he's going to show you. And the Bible says you woke up early in the morning. No delayed disobedience. No, no delayed. Did you have a conversation with her overnight and she said, well, this is God. Go ahead. That part I really want to know. And I woke up on Missouri too. I said, yeah, what, was, what was going through your mind when you woke up in the morning only to find that your son is gone? And, and kudos gone. to Isaac as well, right? Yeah. To Isaac for, for a child like that. And he said, the Lord. 12 years right? old. And then you, you, he asked where you say, where are we going to? What about the the animal we're going to use for sacrifice? And, and he, Abraham said, God will provide. And then you got to the mount and then your father put you on the slab and tied. And, and there was no resistance. Now. I mean, wow. I can only imagine that the child would have watched their fa his father consistently obey God with no questions, exactly. is what I'm thinking. And then, you know, sometimes, I mean, kids just, they watch you and they just take on some characters, like, no, unconsciously, no, 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 right? Yeah, exactly. So, and who knows, maybe that's what Isaac... Yeah, that, that tells a lot to me as a parent, that my children watch what I do mm -hmm. consciously or unconsciously yeah. and that is why we must not fake our lives before them both in the house mm -hmm. and outside the house yeah. let them see consistently in our character and that will make our children to want to follow suit yeah please very important lesson another person that i would like to meet um and kind of ties into you know um, abraham would be job hmm I mean, who goes through that kind of loss or losses, mm. huge losses, and still stays? I think there's a lot to learn from mm. those people of old. And I'm sure that there are still a lot to learn from people who are still alive that are like fathers in faith um, when we get close and they share you know, their experiences, but working with what we have in the scripture because it's already documented, it's just like Job went through and and to think that it was like, kind of like a bet if I were to use that word, yeah. bet, bet between God, God and, and say that oh yeah, try now, you cannot get it, this was a no worry, I will get it I mean, the life was up, was just a gamble <laughs> like you guys are playing chess with someone's life, <laughs> you know and he oh, stayed man. He still he and he got to that point. I would like to know. He got to that point where he still said, God gives and, and God takes. Bless the <sighs> name of the Lord. <laughs> I want to understand like how. Because you know, when you talk about Job, they never really told us that oh Job was always going to church or he's very we just how did he's he... a devoted yeah, for... lover of God. That was one Yes, a Job. lover of God, but you, I mean, there are some there are some trials that I mean, but yeah, that, I, and that reminds yeah. me. That's about one thing about God. He will not allow the trial that is above your ability. Yes, God have finished 
the life of Job. He knows what he can bear. He knows what he cannot bear. In fact, he set up Satan for failure. That is that is the game. The game God knows is going to win at last. Hey, it's, but you know, like, <laughs> like at the end of the day, like I pray that when God, like when God says, we will not disappoint. Yeah, like you know, like when God can stick his bets and or no, and he's like, I trust that. <laughs> like hey, God, I bet. <laughs> Let me not disappoint you. <laughs> you know, like let God be able to trust us one hundred percent. I'm like I trust yeah. her, I trust him, right? Exactly. Um, so what will be the third uh, who will be the third character um, for you? Well, the third character I have in mind is an also someone that was able to win God's heart. To the point that there was what is called the sure mercy of David. That is the man I would love to meet. Mm -hmm. David, hey, how on earth do you become a man after God's own heart? What is this? Because I've been studying my scripture. I have learned so many things about David, of whose name I've been called. And many times I always discover new things. Mm -hmm. Now, look at this scripture I just about to read. In Psalm 78, Psalm 78, verse 70. He said, God chose David also, his servant, and took him from the sheepfold. A shepherd boy outside in the field, Samuel came, and there was no person than him to be anointed. And he go further, he said, from the following of the hours of the great with, the, with young, he brought him to the field of Jacob, his people, and Israel is heritage. So he fed them according to the integrity of his heart. Hey, that man called David has integrity. He felt Israel with the integrity of his heart and guided them by the skillfulness of his hand. There was something unique about him I need to discover. And when we get to heaven, I'm going to ask him, how did you get through with that? Mm -hmm. And I'm still praying that God on earth will reveal something to me so that I can live up to expectation too. <laughs> That's my prayer. David is such a multi-dimensional character. Oh, like there are so yeah. many phases to him. There are so many aspects. Like, and it would just be really great to meet him. Like to meet him and and ask questions. For me, the uh, the last character, not necessarily last, but one character that I would like to interact with is um noah oh, our brother they... noah i want to imagine i want him to tell us what life was like hmm, in the in ark days. in the ark with hmm. all those animals hmm. Hmm. <laughs> and like, the animals were wild at that time yeah so it was not just domestic animals right it was both domestic and wild animals. animals so like sometimes even in obeying god you'd be like god what's going on like if you're hungry <laughs> And, then, okay. and all of them stayed without <laughs> devouring <laughs> each other. Each other, like what was what oh, was life God, like? God, At the end of the day, just it just pays to obey God. Sometimes it doesn't make sense, like, but you just go ahead obey. You say, I just want to talk to Noah and know what was going on. Oh, another person that I wanted, I would like to, to talk to is like that, the thief on the cross. Okay. okay. <laughs> the one yeah, that yeah. finally that, that you know, make it said happen. today I'm going to be with you in paradise. Like he's always, he didn't even have, he didn't go through the trials and temptations of 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 the apostles. Like and his own, he just narrowly escaped. Does he feel inferior in heaven, seeing all the people with their stars? Or is it no? They will have their stars yet until. Until the day of reward, you know, the, the day of reward. But I wonder, but I'm sure he'll just be glad. Ah, oh, well, <laughs> so <laughs> compared to a thing, like a fire, fire. <laughs> it'll be forever. Anyway, I went meanwhile to some two characters came to my mind. Yeah, Daniel Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Ah, what were you thinking? What were you thinking <laughs> <laughs> when you are before fire? And there was no escape route. Especially those three, the three boys. Maybe as they were to be like, oh boy, this thing will be the two that True, true. We, we <laughs> joke about this, but it's a reality to them. Uh, and it's like a film playing in front yeah, of me. Yeah, we're just reading it like texts, right? Yeah. But they lived it. They so lived it. Great they for them to lie on them. Like, they're they're done. Cool. What were you thinking at that point? Mm -hmm. Ah. 
I pray God will help us. You know what I could draw from all of these people? Yeah. Is that they have lived to trust God. Yeah. And that's my prayer for myself, my family, and for you viewers as well. That God will take us to that realm of grace where we can absolutely, I use the word, absolutely trust Him. Yeah. And once our life gets to that realm, we are secured. Yes. I'm telling you. Come rain. Come rain, come sunshine. Come sunshine. God will always show up for us. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank you all so much. I hope, or we hope that you enjoyed yes. today's episode or today's video. Tell um, us also, those people. Yes. You also is like, would like to talk to when you get to heaven. Tell us. We would please, love to read it. Please put in the comments. I'd love to laugh and enjoy it with you as well. <laughs> and the Lord will keep us all. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. And we forgot to mention, welcome to the month of October. Belatedly, but yes, um, not too late as well. Welcome. Um, it's the last quarter of the year. All the things that you know have been pending since January. And trusting mm -hmm. God for He it's doesn't. Coming. He's never late, right? Yes. He will still show up for you. He's always on time. Just keep serving Him. Let your focus be Him. Yes. Um, regardless of the gifts, Amen. and um, he will perfect Amen. everything in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can you please pray for us? Let us have a word of prayer. And so, righteous Father, we thank you. We appreciate you. It's a, just a great joy to get to know you. How we humbly plead that you draw us closer to you, Lord, more than never before in Jesus' name. Amen. And of your sons and daughters who also want to have one-on-one -on -one relationship with you, make it possible, Father. Amen. For your word told us that whosoever shall come unto you, you will no wise cast out. Grace for them to come closer to you and you to draw them to yourself. Father, grant every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. And as we have said, we want to meet those Petras of old, who have who lived their life to trust you, of what characters have encouraged us to, to follow you. Father, please make it possible that we all will make it to heaven. Amen. That nothing will stand our way of being in that glorious city Amen. with you forever in the name of Jesus. Amen. That no matter what the Satan and his hosts may try in this life, they will fail. Amen. They will not succeed over our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is our special request, Lord, that every one of us will make it to heaven at last with our children and our loving parents as well in Jesus' name. Amen. We bless you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. But this is leading us with benefits. Amen. As we have known that the, 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 the all in all is that we should trust you. Give us the ability Amen. to trust you with all our hearts with all our soul and with all our spirit loving you Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father, for answering our prayers. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. 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 Wow. Thank you Thank all you. so much. <laughs> Until next time, Bye. see you later. We want to read your comments. Yes. <laughs> Love you. Bye. <laughs>